Okay. Well, I thought I was going to take a quick break, but... Yeah, whatever. I kind of want to just get this out of the way. Ooh, I gotta invite that level 59 guy. So, okay, I'm doing videos, so I better do a long duration mission here. Okay, I've accepted this guy, I thought. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm just collecting my Firestone Idol RPG stuff. So, right. anyway. Uh, okay, so what was I uh, thinking about? Oh yeah, so this gem is pretty new. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that a lot of their stuff is renounced already. I mean, they have to be because they're already on Yield Wolf, as you can see over here. Again, that's another reason why I love Yield Wolf. It's automated income, auto compounding, don't have to deal with the fees except the one time you deposit and withdraw each time. And Yield Wolf obviously has some form of minimum standard, specifically renounce a contract, because people always bitch about that. So, and it's good for me because I don't have to check for it. All right, though I guess I should because I'm doing these videos. It's really just because I'm a little, you know, tired or whatever. Stealth launched, uh, blah, blah, blah. They're not doing a Genesis pool either. Potential for extremely centralized supply. Wells can game the Genesis pool. Starts too close to peg and it's not for boardroom printing. Decreasing yardage here, utility, utility. So they also, yeah, so there was no Genesis pool, just, just straight up just make this thing. Okay, and then they haven't really said much else. Um, yeah, good question. So they haven't done anything with that, but I'm pretty sure they mentioned it somewhere and they handed the info to Yolo, so good enough for me. Alright, so Snowy Owl is a relatively brand new Tomb Fork, right? Uh, I guess we'll do one hour. And they've been live for two, they've actually only been live for one day. So normally I don't do something like this, but because there's so much money in here, there's a lot of, you know, positive things talking about this. I think I'm pretty comfortable leaving it, you know, the way that this is. It does seem like the devs are active as well. So, so I think I'm, I'll be okay to break my usual rule and then talk about this, especially because these high eight <coughs> Yeah, high APRs. Great, my throat. This scene's trying to <clears throat> throw a frog in my throat. Aren't gonna last forever. So I figure, you know, I might as well just farm this stuff. Okay. So like I've recently discovered, you know, um, well, before I get into the APR stuff, so the first thing you'll notice that this thing is actually tied to Joe tokens, right? The TraderJoeXYZ.com tokens. So in a way, this thing is basically functioning like a stablecoin tomb fork, right? Like Great Finance. But instead of stablecoins, you're tying yourself to the price of Joe. Which basically, all we, and we already, I already did the video on this a while back. Well, a while back now. It's, I guess a couple weeks ago or whatever. Actually, three weeks ago, I should say. It was, a, it was like the first week of... February, I think. All right. Joe tokens generally only go from one to four dollars ever. If it drops below one dollar, I think the buy, the effect of the twenty four of the buybacks every twenty four hours by Trader Joe X Y Z, you know, go way up, right? I mean, I don't know if it goes way up, but I haven't really seen the price of Joe tank that much. Like, I'm sure it's been because I know it's been below a dollar, but generally it doesn't stay below a dollar. It goes right back to a dollar. So I look at this as basically a stable coin tomb fork, right? With a little bit more volatility than a stable coin. So, okay, so right now we just had an epoch. So a lot of people are dumping, they're getting nervous because, you know, obviously uh, snow tokens have been, you know, really high and then you, just, you can look at this chart pattern. So this is not actually looking very good. But with that being said, the APR remains this high. Um, and you got, you know, you got a reasonable amount of snowshares out there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I was willing to take the gamble because I figure, you know, even if snow tanks a lot, which it's supposed, which it's supposed to do, because it's so far above peg, you know, Joe tokens will, you know, hold their value. So, you know, and because it's printing so much money, I figure, you know, I can handle a fifty percent drop, and I have all my tokens back basically after like. 12 to 18 hours, you know, yeah, I don't have any, I don't even have to wait for the 24 hour mark. So, you know, fine, you know, and we're getting all these uh, liquidity uh, pool fees that we're constantly collecting. So that's also increasing this APR by quite an insane amount. 
So as I alluded to before uh, recently and in the last video, they're also using what I like to call a smart APR system. So the boardroom has an APR that is less than the staking pools. So instead of the boardroom, you can stake into the Snowshare uh, liquidity pool, right? Snowshare Joe. Right, my camera's kind of cutting it off. And you'll see the APR here is higher, right? Not, like a little under 20K. If you go over to Snow Joe LP, right? <laughs> that rhymes. You know, you're getting like 30, like you know, like a retarded amount of APR, right? Almost 33,000, right? Or 90% uh, daily APR. I mean, you know, it's like three, it's more than three times the boardroom, in fact. So again, what does this mean? Well, it means that there's not a whole lot of shares, right? Staking in the boardroom relative to everything else. So it has less of an effect of how many base tokens get printed over here. And now that I just read a little bit of the documentation, there was no Genesis pool. This, so this is the Genesis pool, essentially. So that means we should eventually have a crash. So I really should just get out. <laughs> and I really should just wait a few days. But the daily APR is just too tempting. So again, I'm willing to make one this one-time gamble. Well, not one time, but I feel like the situation is so extreme and the profit is just too great to ignore that I'm willing to just put this out there. I already put my money in here. I'm more than happy uh, to do so. And I'm willing to take the risk. And then, of course, it'll be up to you guys if you want to try to get in now, farm it, knowing full well that this is going to tank, and then endure that. Or you could just simply wait this out. All right? Yeah, you'll miss out on this sweet, juicy daily APR. But I, th but last night, I thought it was going to tank. All this thing does is keep going up. So, I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you, right? And again, we now see this smart APR system. All right? That's, that's just what I'm calling it. All right? And again... The devs know what they're doing. They've already renounced contracts, right? Because uh, I assume I don't, someone else did the check and they're on Snow Wolf. So you know at least the base, at least the, I don't know if it's always the base token liquidity pool that has to be uh, the token. In this case, Snow Token has to be renounced, the contract. But I know Yule Wolf requires at least something gets renounced. So, okay. I mean, so they did the homework. But they made it so that the reward pool overwhelmingly goes to the base token, which is why Snowjo is going to be able to hold their value pretty well. Now, of course, everything's dumping because it went from 9,500, I think, or 9,200 circulating supply to this number, 12,288. The boardroom is still going to print a lot of Snow uh, tokens, especially especially as a percentage, right? Because this there was no genesis. Right, and there's a uh, quite a bit of snow shares. Now the good news is because there's already quite a bit already, 3276, the price actually kind of reflects that, right? So the price of a snow share is only 675. So funny enough, if you really wanted to farm this, it might actually be safer maybe to do the snow share liquidity pool. But the problem is we've seen time again where something's like six hundred and fifty dollars and it crashes to like fifty to a hundred dollars. Right? That's exactly what happened to slot in snow too so you know what i'd rather just simply get the snow joes in fact like this man look at the look at the craziness of this price action man this thing is literally all over the place yeah see someone just bought like almost fifteen hundred dollars worth of snow just right now snow joes i call them snow joes it's really supposed to be snow because snow joe is the liquidity token so anyway i figure if once the apr goes down by a lot Right, as it goes down a lot, you know, you could expect the price to tank too. But in the meantime, the longer it takes for that to happen, the more I'm just like real, literally printing cash. So I don't know. Other people have made way more money already off of Snow Yell. I only like dipped my toes into it yesterday, pulled profits prematurely because I thought it was going to tank, right? Because it's supposed to tank. And then it just winds up keep going up. So I just lose a lot of money due to a lack of opportunity cost. So now that I bought back in, you know, now I'm asking for trouble, right? But whatever. I mean, it's making quite a bit. And, you know, again, you know, does very well. So, like, whatever. Now, there is a little bug with the Snowshares chart. It keeps showing you the value of Joe. And that's a bug. So, what you have to do is on the upper right, I'm going to, that's my social icons. On the upper right corner, right, of deck screener, you see these little three dots, right? I'm trying to mouse over it. It's very hard to see. But you can see it changing color from white to gray. You left click that, you gotta click invert pair. 
and then it'll actually tell you the correct price and the correct chart which we could see over here so as you can see what's interesting about the share price is even though there was no Genesis pull but this is acting essentially as Genesis the price of snow shares didn't really skyrocket that much of course we had the little tank with wow twenty dollars what a bargain of a century man that's steadily going up, right? And I remember the documentation said they designed it on purpose like this to, to minimize the damage of whales and whales accumulating all of the tokens. So technically it could still happen, right? Because anyone could just go in the open market and just buy up everything at the beginning. But because there's already been a lot of dumping, there's been a lot of redistribution and, you know, blah, 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 right? You know, I, I feel fairly confident that this should work, right? And then, you know, we'll see what happens on the next epoch, right? You know, how many new tokens, because I'm keeping my eye on that. How many tokens will will print on the next epoch? Because I'm still not sure exactly how it works. Like, if the TWAP does, like, is there a difference between a TWAP of, say, 3, so it's 3x above PEG, and, like, 73.3? Does it, like, if everything else here remained the same, but the swap was 10 versus 73. When the epoch hits, does it print more tokens if the twap is higher? That's actually something I kind of would like to know. So, uh, I mean, well, I, again, well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I don't remember what the APR was last epoch as well. But I think it was like 12,800. So I think it's relatively the same. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I also don't remember how many tokens were staked in here as well, but it appears to be about more than half. So a lot of people really are trying to print these tokens. But yeah, we had this giant uh, dump because this was when the epoch hit and everyone dumped it. So it went from 93 94 $95 all the way down to as low as 52 bucks, And then we had a huge dip buying spree. So if I didn't know any better... It was probably people who printed snow tokens from the boardroom, dumped it all, waited it for, waited for a bottom, and then bought back in. So if that was the case, they definitely made a pretty penny. All right, so the APR, daily APR is fluctuating like crazy, so I'm just going to say 55% to 150% because this thing is really going crazy. So this is the snow gel liquidity pool. Here's the snow share liquidity pool. All right, and of course, good old reliable yield wolf. So we go on yield wolf. Yeah, 54.58% for this Joe Snow shares, and you have Snow Joe token liquidity pool, which is 88.2%. And you got some very extremely high, very healthy TVLs, which is not bad for basically a 36 hour project, right? A project that's 36 hours old. Usually people are always fudding and FOMOing, but not these, but not this, <laughs> not this. So anyway, I put this out there. I actually think the risk is generally pretty low. So I was willing to put in a lot more money. I, I don't know how much I put in here, I think. I think I put in a total back of $750. Now it's down maybe a little bit. I haven't checked in a while. But on the other hand, I also printed probably a lot. I mean, you know what? We don't have to speculate. I'll just look. Just give me a second here. I'm also actually starting to get sleepy and tired. So I like to go to bed. All right, so yeah, I basically got all my money back. I have seven hundred and seventy dollars and eight cents worth of liquidity pool tokens, and here we go. So let me see. Three hours and ten minutes ago, I deposited my tokens, and now I have thirty-seven point oh five two tokens. And this thing is constantly compounding like crazy because there's just so much money floating around uh, inside this project. So it's basically an infinite money generator. So, well, for well, not infinite money generator, but it's definitely a money printer. So, all right, you know, I'll let this ride. I'll keep looking at it. Uh, and in this case, you can die, you guys just can decide what you want to do. You can do a somewhat safer play, do a snow share liquidity pool, or you know, you want maximum money like I'm doing, you can just go straight into Snow Joe liquidity pool. And then of course put everything on Yield Wolf because that's where you make all the money. Um, just uh, just keep an eye on the you know daily APR as it keeps going down. The likelihood of a severe price correction increases. You know, in fact, 
maybe snow will just keep staying under this kind of current price pressure and then it'll just eventually go down or you could just simply wait this out you know for forego any of this uh, high daily apr and then just simply wait there's also nothing wrong with that too but me personally i think the i think you know i don't know i guess i'll have to i'll have to decide what i'll do because if i see this number go up a little too much because i know it's supposed to go up by like four thousand five thousand i might live with it but i want to see what effect that has on the prices here and in fact who knows maybe the this is the top and now it's getting ready to go back to a price correction so that would mean yeah it's kind of shitty that i got in so late but the thing is the apr keeps going back up so that's going to sustain buying pressure I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right. So I'm starting to get a little hungry. I also want to take a nap. So I think I'm done with making videos for today. So like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know. I guess, you know, I don't feel like including a Discord for Kasai and Black. I already did that in the last video. So I think that's good enough. So I'll probably see you next time. I think maybe tomorrow. But we'll see uh, We'll see how I'm feeling. Because I, I, I feel fine, but I just want to take a nap. I also have to wait on this package, so I can't even go out for a walk right now because I might miss the package. And I don't want to tell the driver to leave it, you know, just dump it and then leave. Because it is actually a kind of valuable shipment, and it's it's probably going to be a pretty big box. So people might think, hey, this thing looks worth stealing. So I don't want to take that risk. So, you know, I'm just going to wait for the mailman. All right. So did I cover everything? Yes, I did. So, all right. Looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully this is not the beginning of the end. I want this bull run and snow token to last a little while longer, right? So I can make more money. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, decide what you want to do with this. And, um, yeah, just in case you missed it, I am in snow token Joe. I'm in snow Joe, all right? Because it's got the high, way highest daily APR. And, I don't know, I figure if any of these two tokens tank, they're both going to tank by a shit ton of money anyway, so I'd rather just get the best day, uh, APR. So, that's why I'm the Snow Joe. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, grow the help me grow the channel, etc., etc. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.